Next, I'm going to show you how to use our previous videos of synthetic evaluation, substitution, synthetic division, in order for us to factor polynomials that I can't just factor by inspection or using a special pattern that we have learned. So the first group of homework problems you're going to have is they're going to give you a zero to a polynomial function that's of higher degree than you're used to factoring. You are going to do synthetic division with that zero. And what it's going to do is it's going to leave you with a polynomial that hopefully you can factor using one of your special factoring patterns. So first step is to do synthetic division. So I'm going to copy my coefficients in order. I'm going to put the zero out here. And now I'm going to just do the synthetic division. Copy, multiply, add. It's negative 7, multiply, negative 14, add. 2, multiply, 4, add 0, which does, in, in fact, tell us that 2 is a 0. From the last video, I showed you that this actually gives us the rest of the problem from the division problem. We started out with x cubed divided by something that was x, so this would become an x squared minus 7x plus 2. So I know that 2 is a 0 or a solution. So now what I need to do is I need to find the other solutions, and I'm going to do that by factoring this polynomial. And I'm going to factor by grouping. So I copy the first term. I put a plus blank x, plus blank x. Then I copy the last term. Put parentheses around the first two, parentheses around the last two, with a plus sign in between them. I'm going to multiply the first term times the last. First coefficient times the last gives me 12. I need two numbers that multiply to 12 that add to negative 7, and that is negative 3 and negative 4. I'm going to put the negative 3 with the 6. I'm going to put the negative 4 with the 2. Now I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor of each term. Well, the greatest common factor in the first set here is negative 3x. Uh, Correction, 3x. Greatest common factor out of the last group is negative 2. And now I'm going to write my two factors. 6x squared, well, the first factor is 3x minus 2. The second factor is 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x. Negative 3x divided by 3x is negative 1. I'm going to check the work to make sure I still get this answer. Negative 4x divided by negative 2 is 2x. 2 divided by negative 2 is, in fact, negative 1. This does not answer my question. This just gives me the factors. Now I need to set each of these factors equal to 0 to find the zeros or the solutions. If I set 3x minus 2 equal to 0, I get x equals 2 thirds. And if I get set 2x minus 1 equal to 0, I get x equals 1 half. So I was given one of the zeros, and I was able to come up with the other two zeros by factoring the polynomial. I'm going to do one more problem. says to solve the given equation given that negative 2 is a 0. So it says 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 11x plus 6 equals 0. And I am given that negative 2 is a 0. So I already have one of my solutions, and that is negative 2. I'm going to use that solution to turn this cubic polynomial into a quadratic polynomial that I can factor. So my solution so far, x equals negative 2. I'm going to do synthetic substitution slash synthetic division. Copy my coefficients. 2, negative 3, negative 11, 6. Put the negative 
two outside, copy, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Note, if you are doing this and you do not get the zero here, that means it is not a zero, not a solution. I'm now going to turn this into a quadratic, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. I'm going to factor this one by grouping. Copy the first term. Put plus blank x, plus blank x. Copy the last term. Parentheses around the first two terms and the last two terms with a plus sign in between. Multiply the first and last numbers together and that gives me a 6. I need two numbers that multiply to 6 that add to negative 7. They're both going to have the same sign, which is negative. So I'm going to put a negative here. Do it in a different color so you can see it. Negative here. Negative here. And it would be negative 1 times negative 6. I'm putting the 6 with the 3 because they both have a factor of 3 in them and it's going to make the factoring easier. Next thing I want to do is find the greatest common factor of each group of terms. Greatest common factor between negative 1x and 2x squared is x. Greatest common factor between negative 6x and 3 is negative 3. thing I want to point out, in the second term, if this number is negative, the first number here is negative, you always are going to factor out the negative term there. So what this tells me is x minus 3 is a factor. And my second factor is 2x squared divided by x, which is 2. Negative x divided by x is minus 1. I am going to check this. Negative 6x divided by negative 3, 3 is negative is 2x. So that's why I go back and check. And then 3 divided by negative 3 is, in fact, negative 1. If these are factors, then I can find the zeros by setting them equal to 0. If x minus 3 is equal to 0, then x is equal to 3. And if 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, then 1 half is equal to x.